All right, I'm, I'm recording. Yes, I'm recording. I think I'm recording. Hello and welcome to the uh, Something Gaming Podcast. This is episode six, and you could hear the doubt in my, my voice. Uh, today I got That's because you know you're not going to gain any new viewers, man. Oh my god, why did I bring you back? You were like you were like begging me to come back. You were like I was. Hey, you know what? Please come back. I was. Can you please save my show? <laughs> Can I save I you? I you to come <laughs> back, please. I'll do anything for you. <laughs> Senpai, notice me. Sobbed, like you, you sobbed yourself to sleep, and I took a few days to respond. But eventually, I was like, "Sure, I'll come back," but only if the focus of the show is me now. I did cry a little bit. I was like, I'm going to miss Earl. But then Aww. he came back, and I was like, great. Yeah, now, <laughs> now there's nothing to miss. <laughs> All right, guys. So today I have three people with me today. Uh, Neil, say hello as always. Wait, Girl, shut, up, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. What? I'm not, I'm not shutting Neil up. I'm, I'm shutting you up, Sahil. What? I'm, I'm going to say something now, okay? You made the exact same mistake that you did in the last podcast. What? What did I do? <laughs> Look, look, look. Neil, you said you said Neil is your co-host, right? And you said you have three people here today. Why would you say you have two guests? Because it's so confusing. You're like three people. Oh, wow. Well, I wasn't means, including myself. I mean, there I must be three new people. Three new people that we right, have four. Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> there's four people. I know there's four people in here, but dude, dude, Neil is your co-host. Stop demoting him. <laughs> Jesus. He's got a point there. Uh, okay, God, I don't need you guys like jumping on me about this stuff. All right. I'm confused. You Why am I the victim? On you just did. <laughs> I'm only six cool, episodes man. in. <laughs> six episodes in, you're already fucking up, dude. That tells me a lot about this show. You know, Sahil, if you don't, if you feel embarrassed, you can cut him out and edit it. Nah, you know what? Because oh, I, I feel like I feel like Earl is like a great part of the show, where he just he's like the, my screaming conscious, you know. I was joking, but okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm. Listen, he abuses me a lot, but I, I appreciate oh my his friendship. Oh my god, you can do better. No, <laughs> <laughs> I can do better. <laughs> All right, so we have Neil here. We also brought back Twee because, uh, yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> you know what? I think Earl's right about me. I think I need to, I need to sell you guys a little better. Yeah, you're already downplaying the value of our guests. I know. I'm an ass. I missed that. Actually, my my uh, what my computer just dis- good. My okay. computer dis- also, we kind of have Earl here because he's disconnecting, but uh, no real loss, I suppose. Well, I'm I'm happy oh, to be oh, here. Dude. That was pretty good. <laughs> Tweet. What were you saying? I was actually, just saying I appreciate you yeah. letting me be here. Oh no problem. Of course. Uh, <laughs> flattery will get you nowhere. <laughs> uh, That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm like intermittent because I'm doing my geology homework too, so. Oh, people always doing other things when I'm trying to do this show. That's because you're not that important. I, all right, man, <laughs> come on. I just need a little bit of love from you, all right? <laughs> all right, so uh, this week there's a lot to talk about because of, uh, there's a whole PlayStation thing, right? So a bunch of stuff came out. I just watched the two weirdest trailers in the world about the same game. Um... So, but let's start, before we get into that, let's uh, talk about what, been, what we've been playing this week. Freaking uh, buzzkill there, I was ready to talk about that game. I, you know what, we gotta <laughs> make sure people watch the show for at That's least half an hour, so I can get some money, you know? Some money, really? You get paid for this now? Well, that's what this is about, huh? Yeah, it's all awesome. this. Bye, no, dude. I've revealed my evil plan not, already. You're not gonna cut me a share of that shit, so... I'm just gonna leave right now, dude. That's what? cool. <laughs> Good luck with your show. I never liked it. <laughs> then why'd you comment on it that one time? You you saw what I said, right? That's true. I did yeah, see what you, you said. You saw what I said. I forgot actually though, but I know what you said. You know what I said. Let's talk about the games forgot. we've been playing. <laughs> wow, ADD. Tweet, you haven't been on for a while, so you go first. Wait, what? Uh, that doesn't... <laughs> I don't even care. That Just please, save the show. Oh god, there's no way I can save the show. It's always the same, right? <laughs> I agree, the content's usually the same. Why are we talking Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh my god. 
<laughs> He's having an aneurysm, guys. Please tell us what you played this week, Twee, before I <laughs> lose my mind. All right, more. Played a stuple, uh, or a couple of Steve. A stuple? You played a stuple? <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know what stuple means. Stupid. Okay, you know what? Couple. We need to stop because sooner or later we're going to be calling each other out in mistakes rather than actually doing the podcast. I feel like. Oh, right. you're the one who started this! <laughs> well, well, well. It's your fault for being, you know, Sahil. That is I can't so much about that. All right, you know what? I'll take the blame. It's fine. You want someone's got to man up here, all right? Let's be productive now. <laughs> a tweet. Sorry. Go ahead. Tell us about what you stumbled. <laughs> um, let's see. Me and my friends, we got tired of playing so much Dota, so we tried to find a game to like all play together without still competing against each other, and we found Ultimate Chicken Horse. That game is so fun. Tell us about Ultimate Chicken Horse. I never thought I'd say that in a sentence. <laughs> you never heard of it? Okay. I've never. Um, so it's like, okay, so it's kind of like a puzzle <laughs> game, you know, how you, you compete with other people, like Super Mario, you jump to platforms and then try to reach the end. But then each turn, you both have, like, stuff you can pick to, like, try to mess each other up. Because if both of you reach the end, it's too easy and no one gets points. So you try to fuck up your opponent as much as you can. Like, there's spikes, there's, like, hockey pucks to, like, shoot at people, arrows, fire, stuff like that, teleporter. It's a lot of fun when you put to play with your friends. Okay, cool. Okay. This sounds like speedrunners a little bit, if you've ever it played... Is. Okay. Yeah, but speedrunners, you use items, like, as you go. This one, you use items, like, each time you try to get, reach the platform on a map. So the map, you see the whole map already, and then you build platforms along each level. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, um, I'm looking that up, too, because w- w- Ultimate Chicken... So like a party platformer game where you build the level as you play, placing oh. traps and hazard to screw your friends over, but not yourself. All right, uh, save thirty four percent on Ultimate Chicken Horse on Steam. It's it's pretty fun party game with your if you play with other people. Oh, okay. this looks kind of neat. Oh, so we you like? Play it, like I guess you like a uh, you you. Sorry, what were, what were we saying earlier? <laughs> we should play it later. How much? Mo- uh, I don't have fifteen bucks on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're poor. Yeah, I'm a broke college student. I know, and you're gonna keep being broke thanks to student loans. I know this oh, YouTube God. channel ain't paying for itself, you know. Oh my God! <laughs> the brutal truth. <laughs> All right. Oh wow. So, uh, does it control pretty well, or uh, I'm just curious because uh, I like I like the your... little graphic style too. You just use your mouse and um uh and keep or the arrow keys okay so arrow keys to jump and then mouse to like click where you want your um traps and stuff my sister is in my room printing things <laughs> that's okay she's been listening to hey, us hey you talk. should invite her to the show man you want to be on the show she says no she's really scared <laughs> and shy you should be scared because Sahil is not a great host. She, she didn't hear that because <laughs> I have my headphones in. God. <laughs> uh, my plan has been foiled, guys. GG. Oh, yeah, I feel like we should just have a show where we just goof around. Maybe this is that show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> play a play a party game while talking trash talking each other. I agree. We could totally do that. We, we should just trash talk each other oh, instead. You can put that in a segment, actually, if you want. What do you mean? I don't know. You know how some like YouTube shows where they have people sitting in couch and they play and talk? Kind of like an interview kind of thing? Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like that Iron Gamer thing that the... Yeah. Team, uh... So basically, Sahil should just steal other people's ideas. No. <laughs> I mean, a podcast isn't really an original idea, you know? You can See, there you go. No, no, there you go again. You just stole another person's idea. Oh. Someone had an idea, an original idea to have a podcast, and you decided to plagiarize them, Sahil. <laughs> Didn't academic dishonesty teach you anything? This is an academic you dishonesty. Freedom. <laughs> this is America. 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 I know. America has copyright laws, which you are definitely breaking. I don't give a shit. See, there you go again. Someone's going to file a lawsuit against you. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse, uh, go check it out. Uh, uh, 
Uh, Alright, Tweet, what else have you been playing? Um, Firewatch? I don't know if you heard of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I I watched Jesse Cox play that. That was really <laughs> awesome. I am actually really interested in Firewatch. I haven't finished it yet, but yeah, I probably will stream it for fun, because it's a pretty fun game, in my opinion. Tell us about it for people who might not know about it. Um, so, hmm, what's a good example to, like, say, like, it's first person, it has beautiful graphics, it's like an adventure game. So oh, that sounds like Far Cry. It's, it starts off with, like, adventure, so kind of like text space where you choose your path a little bit, like, oh, you know, you see this girl, what do you do, kind of thing. And then yeah. you choose it. And then, uh, what, what do you do? I don't know how to describe it in a way that makes it exciting. <laughs> So, so it's not an exciting game. It it kind of uh, it, it's a narrative first person narrative uh story driven kind of game. Uh, where I mean, you, uh, the way she's selling it to me is she's like, "Hey guys, there's this game. It bores me to death. You guys should no, all play." It's it's not. I'm just saying. I'm trying to find a way to make it exciting. So in a way, it's like Firewatch. You're like this guy who has nothing left to lose. So you take this job that's kind of mysterious. No, I don't by, you're Yeah, in the watchtower. No, this is for other people. So you're in a watchtower, um, and your job is to try to stop people from, you know, causing hazardous fires and shit like that. But uh, as this goes on, you learn about yourself or something like that, if I remember. Mm-hmm. Yep, that sounds like it is. Um, it's got a great little soundtrack. Um, I believe it's... two of the writers from, uh, is it the Telltale Games, right? Neil, you might want to autocorrect <laughs> me on that. Um like two of the writers from like you, the usual like Telltale games or whatever, um, they decided to branch out and uh, start writing their own thing. Um, let me get their names because before I forget it. But uh, anything, the game is definitely beautiful and it's emotional. Gets you. Gets yeah. You in the- definitely. Um, ah, uh, Camp Santo is the creator. Uh, created by Jake Rodkin and Sean Van Vanum. Who are the creative leads on The Walking Dead? Yeah, wow, that's cool. Yeah, and uh, Neil Anderson, uh, Nels Anderson, lead designer of Market of the Ninja, and artist Ollie Moss. So, yeah, it was a small project, but uh, a lot of people liked it. Um, I-, I thought it was a really interesting game to watch. Honestly, it's one of those like uh, if you don't want to play it yourself, I definitely think uh, you should watch someone play it. Um, but oh, actually, I- um, just think about it. Not to interrupt anyone, but uh, okay, I'm actually being serious, but. Uh, you guys have heard of Limited Run Games, right? Uh, no, explain. Okay, so Limited Run Games is actually this, um, it's just, uh, I guess, a distributor. Someone who, like, builds these physical copies of games that are originally on PC. Or uh, I know what you're talking PS4. about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but, um, they actually are going to sell Firewatch. Oh, as a, cool, as a physical really? Copy, limited to 7,300 copies, and I'm actually... Really, really, really desperate for that game. Cool. That sounds awesome. You get it. I believe you got, like, uh, a couple other games. Like, you got, like, Saturday morning RPG, like, the yeah, physical I have, version uh, of that. I have a lot of their games, but Firewatch is actually the one that I want to get from them. Uh, well, in the present time, because obviously they have uh, different games. It's just uh, this one actually struck out to me. I really wanted this one. Yeah. No, Firewatch is a, is a pretty good game. Um like I, I, I don't. I think it, saying anything more about it kind of like ruins the magic of it. I would, yeah. I would feel so. It's kind of hard to describe. Um, yeah, it's twenty dollars on Steam. Uh, I, I would. Did you buy it yourself, Twee, or um? Um, family share. Family share. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice. I don't know if I'd pay twenty dollars. That's the thing. Is it fifteen right now on Steam? It um, says twenty. I'm on the Steam page. Um, it's twenty. Okay, maybe we could do like a G two A and get that down. Yeah, we don't sponsor G two A. No, I think it's worth it to. Yeah, I honestly like. I I, I don't mean, sponsor G two A either, dude. <laughs> I know, no, but you no, like, you've heard that news, right? Like, not to get off topic, but like G two A has some ahead. like really shady shit going on with them, as far as how they get their like copies of the game and stuff and the keys or whatever, like. I know that, but I was like, this is probably your option. I don't actually do G2A because um, I agree. There is a lot of shade that goes into um, getting the keys. But, like, for example, uh, for Stardew Valley, when I got Stardew Valley, um, I actually didn't really read up on G2A, like, at that time. 
but when Stardew Valley came out and I actually got the game, uh, I didn't go through GTA. I I knew that the developer of that game was very uh was very diligent with actually releasing content and pushing updates. So when I got Stardew Valley, I got it through Steam to support the developer a little more. Mm. Yeah, all the uh, Stardew Valley people are pretty awesome. I mean, they made a. They also uh, they 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 do a good job of updating their games. No, no, I no, wasn't it a one man? It's a one man team. So oh, oh, right, a, right, sorry. Uh, it's a certain ape on Reddit. Yeah, yeah. Who made? Sorry, I was thinking about the publishers. The pu- the publishers are the same. Uh, they made a uh, Starbound as well. So yeah, there we go. Or published That's Starbound. So. Oh no, the publishers made Starbound. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the publishers also published uh, Stardew Valley. So all these stars, jeez. Right. Anyway, yeah. Firewatch, uh, I hope... Did you beat it already, Tui? No, I only... I barely started on it. Okay, cool. Uh, good luck. I hope you have fun with that game. Um, Thanks. Yeah, it's very narrative-focused. I encourage you to explore around in that game, because I feel like you get more of a story that way. Yeah. Um, Alright, uh, I've been talking to Tui a little too much. Um, <laughs> Earl! Oh, God, Earl. Actually, wait! No, no, no! no. Oh, We're not so going to Earl. Bad. We're going to Neil, because Neil... Uh, we, we've been neglecting Neil, I feel. Yeah, he's your co-host. He's, yeah. Neil's my co-host. Yeah, yeah, he, I know, he gets very quiet when there's other people around. So, Neil, yeah, it's uh, it's your time to shine, alright? What have you been playing this week? Um, nothing really. It's just been Stardew Valley and Wargame Red Dragon the okay, whole week. Because t- <laughs> we were talking about Stardew Valley last week. Uh, tell me more, since we were talking about Stardew Valley. Anyway, tell us how you feel about the game now. Um, I still enjoy it. That's really it. I, I'm still trying to go through the motions. I'm now getting a higher source of income because I'm starting to learn which crops are better to grow. Um, going through the caves to get stuff, although that's taking forever to do. And I'm also wooing every woman in the town. Ooh, you okay. actually get uh, okay. punished for that if you try to do it all at the same time. Yeah, I, I kind of have to balance things out. I've never heard of that. Yeah, because they think like you're cheating on one of them or whatever. So, no, I'm, yeah, I'm not even kidding. That's I've actually mechanic. never hit that point actually. Like if you have like a like eight or more star, or I think it's like I think if you hit ten stars with someone and then you start like flirting it up with someone else, then they just get really offended and then oh, I see their star level, their like little heart power thing goes down. So mm. yeah, be careful. Yeah, I'm not at that point yet. So okay. How many have you passed well, not, year one yet? Really like a punishment. So like, no, I'm, I'm still on the. I just started the fall season. Okay, Earl, what were you saying? It's not really a punishment. It's more like, like not monogamy. Um, polygamy. There we go. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, it makes sense within the game world. Um, it's it just kind of hard because like you could still be friends with them. I think. I think you just kind of have to. Your spouse will just get a little more, or a spouse or husband mm-hmm. who will get a little more. Uh, <laughs> I, Again, I, I know the same thing. I'm, st- I'm still in the fall season. I just started that, so I'm mm. not there yet. But you must have been playing because that's like one year is like forty hours of gameplay. Yeah. Uh, so you're probably well, getting around that mark. That's pretty good. Have you found that you've enjoyed this type of game? Yeah, I do actually. Okay. Cool. I mean. I'm glad, man. Like, uh, seriously, like those like Hana Harvest Moon games aren't really uh, meant for everybody. But uh, I'm glad you really enjoy this one because uh, uh, I think it's a great game. Well, <laughs> I, anything, I, we, we already had a discussion him. last week, but what were you saying, Earl? If anything, we learned it's meant for him. Yeah, <laughs> it's meant for him. What does that mean? You said it's not meant for everybody, so I was like, it's, it's probably meant for him. Oh yeah, yeah, for it's, sure, for sure. There's nothing I mean. I thought There's you were trying like to insult Neil, and I'll, I'm not going to let that happen, man. Your target's no. me. I'm getting a little jealous yeah, over here. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The only person we target is you. Because I can take it. Neil's very fragile, man. We're not going to insult Neil. What has Neil ever done to us? Neil's like the nicest guy in the world, all right? Exactly. And you, you're just a bitch. I know. I, I agree. Earl, what have I you agree. been playing this week? Because... <laughs> I actually don't know. I have just... I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I buy, like, new video games every week. But you never get time to play them. Exactly. 
I never get time to play any of them. So, um, you know how finals came up? Yeah. I think we're all I under actually, that. So, well, finals are coming up. The weeks before that, I was just working on buying new games. So, I got a bunch of new games for PS4. I got, like, Final Fantasy, uh, you know, 15, the new one. The new oh, one came out. And shit! Then I have all the Final Takes 30 um, hours to beat which, one boss. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Don't you have to yeah. wait real days? Yep. <laughs> and then, uh, what else is there? Um, the divi- not the division. Uh, Tom Clancy or something. It's a uh, Rainbow yeah, the Six division. Siege. Oh, Siege! No, oh, Siege is so Siege. cool. I have I have Siege, which I got for PS4 for fifteen bucks. But like that's just a that's just like a list of games that I got over the past week. But I never actually played them. Damn, dude. Well, if you're gonna play Final Fantasy fifteen, you're gonna have to commit your entire life to playing that game. Apparently, so. <laughs> no, actually, um, that would be Final Fantasy. Um, the, what, that would be World of Final Fantasy. Um, I started playing it this week, and I realized that the storyline is a hundred uh, hours long. So that one, I will be here for the rest of my life playing. Oh, that sounds perfect for me. Yeah, that's because you have nothing going on. I literally will get invested in a hundred-hour JRPG, and I will just never talk to anyone for three months. So, Jeez. Oh. no, but uh, and then there's a. Uh, as I mentioned, Final Fantasy, um, Final Fantasy 15. They said the storyline is like 30 hours long, 40 hours long. And for people like me who are like out working and too busy to actually be home, uh, we just um, we just enjoy that kind of thing. I actually had a discussion with a guy, um, with one of the guys at um, Super Video Game Brothers, uh, Lost Levels in Fullerton, uh, that franchise. Uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. They totally agreed. They totally agreed. They were like, um, "That's uh, it's actually true. Once you get busy." You're not going to have time to do anything else, so if you want a game, you have to do something that's simple. You know, like Pony Island. Two-hour game right there. Ah, yeah, Pony Island's a great game. But then that, That's such an interesting I, I, conversation, though, because, like, uh, yeah. I, I don't know, like, I, but I, I feel like, uh, as far as game length goes, a lot of people uh, look for something different. I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't mind a longer game, honestly, but, like, I'll, I don't mind a short game either, so... Uh, but I know some people who will, if it's like over 20 hours long, they just won't take the time to even touch it. I see. Well, um, is my argument, my argument is a lot of people who played Final Fantasy 15, played it through, finished it, said, um, that's it. Like, that's all the gameplay we get. This should have been at least like a 70 or 80 hour game, right? Like most, uh, JRPGs are, like the Persona series, right? Mm-hmm. But then, um, Oh yeah, Tales is also one of those. Yeah, Holy Tales shit. Of, as well. Um, well, I'm not even done with Mysterio. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, but uh, anyway, as, yeah. <laughs> but as I was saying to him, uh, like before, I wouldn't have minded if it was the 2013 when I was still kind of doing nothing with my life. Uh, when I got GTA 5, because I actually finished the storyline for GTA 5 in like 10 hours or so. But Damn. for um for that game in that time frame. I was like, that's it. Like, I kind of expected more too, but now I feel like a ten-hour game like that is actually perfect for me. So, well, I feel like developers are pretty nice about like adding that extra content, especially for people who like because adding that extra content doesn't actually. Well, I would say in most cases it doesn't usually harm the game because like when you add that extra content, like you're giving more more of a more of a package for a player to experience. So. Uh, obviously, oh, yeah. some people won't play through that extra content, but and they're gonna just beat the main story, and they're gonna be like, "Okay, that was fun." And then, like, but some people who just like want to explore a world or like do extra stuff, or I mean, that's why JRPGs are so popular. It's not for the main story usually; it's for all the little side content that goes on. Reminds me of Skyrim. Yeah, exactly. Like, well, I feel like Skyrim's a fundamentally different game because like the main quest is such a tiny, tiny part of that. Like. It's the side quests that make that game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah, <laughs> like I, the side, the main quest in Skyrim is so goddamn forgettable and stupid. I just, uh, it just does not age well over time. Like, <laughs> but all the side content and all the little adventures that you have by yourself, now that's something that will stay with you for a long time. I feel for sure, for sure. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it, it's so. You, I mean, like developers can make all this side content, but like. As far as like making it memorable and make it interesting and making people feel invested, that's why like I, I don't know how I, I haven't played Final Fantasy 15 yet, but like if if a 30 hour boss fight is what's gonna appeal to people, I mean 
That's not a new concept, by the way, just letting everybody know, because they did a six-hour boss fight in Final Fantasy XII, and that shit was stupid. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not even joking. There's a six-hour boss fight, and it's like an optional hunt. It's But it's an optional thing, right? It's not, yeah. like, necessary. So that's why it's... So I feel like if it was, like, part of the game, then, like, that would be messed up. So, But it's not, so... I, I guess, uh, you know... It just depends on what you're looking for. It, it'll appeal to some people. It won't appeal to some people. I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, let's, anything else you've been playing, Earl? Because uh, we can move on to the news, which I know Neil is going to give us oh, such a beautiful speech. I can't wait. Because <laughs> I, I, I... Okay. Earl, anything else? Because I want to get into this. Cause... Uh, no, there's pretty much nothing else. Okay, cool. All right. Neil... I watched both trailers for Death Stranding. And? Uh, I have no idea what the fuck I just watched. <laughs> Congratulations, you're pretty much in the, no, yeah, you're pretty much in the majority of people who I have, watch them. I have never felt so, yeah. like, okay, alright, alright. So the first trailer was pretty interesting, I'd say, a bunch of dead things. And a naked, and a naked guy, and a baby that turned into oil. That was pretty cool. And then the second trailer just uh, made me think, oh, World War II, this guy is attached to a baby, and uh, there's also another guy who controls military dudes, and there's fire stuff and tentacles, and yeah. I was like, this is made by Hideo, Hideo Kojima. That's just the first <laughs> version of what's going on. <laughs> Neil, oh all right, God. let's get into this, because I feel like you're the only person who could comprehend this at this point. Um, what Please. the fuck is going on with De- Death Stranding? Like, tell us what. Tell us about Death Stranding. Just go. I don't I even. I don't know. <laughs> tell us. I really no. don't know. <laughs> it's like talking about the Elder Scrolls. Like one way you see left, the other way you see right, and sometimes you see up. Here's the thing: the Elder Scrolls makes sense. <laughs> this one will make no sense until the game comes out in full. Just we just know that people are excited <laughs> as shit about this. I mean, I okay, touch. we are. I just typed in like. How can you be excited about a game you don't get? I, that's exactly well, what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, it's no, no. This is this is how I felt when I was watching. Uh, there was a Frank Ocean video that they released earlier this year. Okay, and I got nothing from it. I did not understand what the hell was going on. All right, music videos are complete I, trash, by I, the way. I hate watching. Music yeah, people are like, oh, it's so beautiful. It's a work of art, and I'm like, dude, there's obviously a light on her fucking crotch. I don't fucking get it. <laughs> oh I love God. Frank Ocean. I won't even lie. I love Frank Ocean. I love his music. I just don't get what he was trying to portray in that video. Oh God! All right, Frank Ocean is Kojima. At the end. <laughs> Thank you. No, so, so Neil, no. what, do know what do we know about what do we know? What do what what do we think we know about Death Stranding so far? And why are people so hyped up? I just want to know. I, you, I feel like you're you're invested in Kojima stuff, right? Uh, I've never played Metal Gear. I've never played a Kojima game before in my entire life. Well, why are people so excited for this? What what's? I, I know a new trailer came well, out. Where the fuck do I start? <laughs> I, I just go for it, man. It's all you. Like, I just want to know. I want you to let, let us in there, all right? I feel like... well, well, a little while ago, we had this game come out called Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Pretty well received, uh, like yeah, money-wise, anyway. Yeah. I've but, never heard uh, of that game. <laughs> 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 no, continue, with Neil. This, yeah, yeah please, do, game, please do. Uh, okay, uh, with the game, we see Kojima leaving Konami. And we found right. out that Konami are pretty fucked up when it comes to companies are concerned. Yes, they are. So here's the obligatory fuck Konami reference. Well, I, I, I'm i kind of quitting ish Yu Gi Oh! So I'm kind of downsizing on my cards, so yes, I agree. Yeah. Are you really? Uh, are you really? Yeah, I am. I really am this time. I fucking are promise. You, no. Sahil, are you sure? I am. Oh, God. <laughs> you put doubt in my mind. All right, Neil, go. <laughs> I don't know. We have to take yeah, it. Yeah, the right way going. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get anything. I don't even wrong. care. You have to just edge I'm through this, so all right? I'm sorry, man. I don't know. I'm starting to question that. Tweezy's the only <laughs> reasonable one here. She's just friend. sitting there quietly, just like, I'm going to listen to Neil and be a good sport about this. <laughs> yes. 
No, no, guys, it's the health of our friend. Well, he's saying that he's quitting Yu-Gi-Oh. That never happens. Uh, okay. him, oh, my God. Me. All right, all right. Neil. <laughs> need help, man. Continue you your help. crazy story, because I don't want to get into this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Hideo Kojima leaves Konami, and everyone be like, what's he going to do now? And then Sony and Kojima come up with an announcement that he's redeveloping his studio, Kojima Productions, and they're coming up with a new game. Ooh. And yeah, every, this is pretty important because this is Kojima's first original game since... Um, the original yeah, Metal Gear. First Metal Gear yeah. yeah, since the original Metal Gear. Like, this will be his first new IP. So that's part of the reason why it's exciting. But another thing is that it seems like Sony gave Kojima a blank check. Because everyone is a part of this game. So the entire so, the first trailer had Norman Reedus in it, and the second trailer yes. had what looked like to be Gil- uh I can't pronounce his goddamn name. Uh, yes, Guillermo del Toro. Sorry, Guillermo. Uh, sorry, in the game. Gorilla G- del Toro. I love you. Please sponsor me. Oh my god! Did you really just say that? Uh, I'm so sorry. He, yeah, really, he just said that. Guys. I cannot pronounce his He's name. He's selling out. Please sponsor us. Anyway, I can't say your name. He's selling out. And then, who was yeah, the new yeah. actor in that second trailer? Because I didn't notice that. I don't know who he was. That was Mads Mikkelsen. Who? What is he famous for? Um, you might have seen him in NBC's recently cancelled Hannibal series. Really? Oh. Yeah, pretty well received, actually. Huh. Okay. So. And he looks very convincing as the villain too. So this guy's the villain, all right? Okay. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Cool, and then... I'm not really sure how the man controlling an army of skeleton warriors is going to be the hero of this. <laughs> okay. He might, you know, it's a Konami game, so I'm not even gonna... I'm uh, not even gonna try. Uh, and he's gonna be the most normal character of the bunch. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeleton soldiers with tentacle monster tanks. All right, uh, so okay. yeah, this is an exciting moment for Kojima, obviously, because you know we all want to see him succeed. But Neil, I'm gonna be a devil's advocate here, and I'm gonna say, you know what? Maybe, maybe we're all getting a little too excited for nothing. Maybe, maybe Kojima is. It's we're all just getting. We're all this is the no man's sky theory, right? We're all getting just like super excited. We're all gonna like piss our pants over this game, and eventually we're just gonna get disappointed. Do you think that's the case? No. And the reason why I say that is because Kojima is a perfectionist. He's the kind of person who will take a decade if it means making sure that game comes out as the best it could possibly be. I mean, it's never actually hit that point, but he takes a long time making games. Okay. When do you think this game will come out? Because uh, I watched no, the trailer and I don't remember seeing a release date. There wasn't a release date. <laughs> okay, so... Ooh. How many I mean, years... It's, it's, how many? How long do you think this is going to take? How long until we see actual gameplay? Actually, that's what I'm curious because we don't even know what this game is going to be about. Like, is it a third person game? Is it a horror game? Is it the most he's described is action game? So yeah, it's like going to be like Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. I really don't know about that part. Where, where you swing a fetus and beat people up with a dead baby? <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, guys, I got a little real. Something Gaming Podcast, episode 6, the end. <laughs> Why are you also quiet? Knife. <laughs> I, <haven't laughs> I didn't think that was that <laughs> dark. <laughs> no, no, I'm actually working on geology right now. Oh, God. At All the right. same time. Let me finish. <laughs> All right, Neil, anything else we got to say about this? Because uh, this is uh, the second trailer, like... I've been seeing all these crazy fan theories about, like, if you watch the trailer side-by-side side with the first one, then it reveals something. What the heck's that about? Well, someone uh, put the two trailers side-by-side, side, and if you time it up at a certain... Yeah, at one part of both trailers, um, when in the first trailer, Norman Reedus's oil baby just disappears, right? Yes. In the second trailer, this, well, this baby just appears in Guillermo del Toro's pod. And a lot of people think that if these two trailers are connected by that. Like, when Norman Reedus's oil baby disappears, that's when it shows up in the Guillermo pod. So, that's how they That's a pretty it. thin line. I don't know. This seems like the kind of thing Kojima would do, really. Also, because um, some people took some 
uh, close-up views of the necklace on uh, Norman Reedus' uh, neck up the, in the first trailer. Yeah, it was like and a bunch of dog on, tags, right? Yeah, on the dog tags, there's a bunch of formulas. I'm pretty sure they have to do with black holes or something like that, but... You know, when I, 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 when I watched that first... When I watched this trailer, I'm kind of reminded, like, I'm sure the, like, political message in this game is going to be, like gonna punch people in the face like that's what i what's what i like in the kojima games the, like political message that they try to go for in like a weird wacky japanese way yeah <laughs> yeah i i honestly this one's... i think it's gonna be about like global warming or something i don't know i saw just a bunch of most fish. likely yeah yeah most likely also oil is a common thing about all this so yeah it's definitely going to be about the environment for sure i'm i'm definitely yeah. like not to get too into like the political message but i as far as it being a good game i i really hope it is i mean uh, I, I know a lot of people were kind of like well well let's see if Ko- Ko- kojima is really the guy behind the game design game mechanics and all that stuff i mean Mechanically, like Metal Gear Solid games are pretty s- <laughs> solid all the time. So, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I know you're aiming for that, man. Shut up. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? That was a pretty good one because I just came out with that on that the spot. Was a good so. one. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Twee. You're the sweetest. <laughs> wow, so much support from her. Yeah, well, Twee's like the nicest person in the world, just alongside Neil. All right. Wait. uh... You I just, just said that. I'm just I'm just buttering up these guys so they keep making me money, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how it comes out. I think honesty is the most important thing when it comes to YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah. People love seeing honesty. Especially <laughs> from you. Lies. Especially from <laughs> oh, God. you. Jesus. All right. Well... Uh, let's, because there was other things announced at the PlayStation thing. Um, I saw a really interesting article where, uh, before we get off the Konima, Konima, K- K- uh, Konami train, I guess. It's not Konami, Hideo Kojima. Um, Yo, you're going to be a gaming company, you're going to have to call it Konima. Konima. I'm going to hold you to it now. Konima Productions. Yeah. <laughs> that was incredibly racist, I'm so sorry. I don't even care. I hope anymore. no Japanese people were watching that. Sorry, Japanese people, I love you. You have the greatest country in the world. I'm not even. No, it's obviously. It's it's obvious he doesn't. No, I do. He's I want to go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Oh, did you did you hear that? that? Sounds like it sounds like the truth. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> all right, guys. So let's talk about uh, PT and all the like weird shit that people just unlocked the other day, and they came out with all these like weird things where they unlocked all the models of the game and they like implemented it in Metal Gear Solid 5 so you have like Lisa the ghost girl just like derping around in the game and it's really funny and they like replaced the models with like quiet models and it was just really fucking weird and funny you can go look that up i just thought i'd give that a mention cuz it's kind of hilarious that like this game that like Ko- konami is just like trying to pretend doesn't exist like people are just like extracting everything from this game and like implementing it on their um on death metal gear or whatever anyway yeah you guys don't know all right well no I'm no i've heard of this i just don't know very much about it yeah they just uh they just found a way to like unlock a bunch of like secret stuff like there's like a bunch of like weird models and like that that were unused that look like for models of other monsters um i think there were like layouts of the map shown and stuff for certain things um they're really just like getting in there and like kind of like breaking the game and seeing what happens so it's pretty cool um the ghost girl is not as scary um when she's flopping around the floor (laughs) Uh, (laughs) wait what is this (laughs) did you look it up like here i'll uh i'll send you a link uh i'm kind of curious now i found it on a it was (laughs) oh shit uh i found it on kotaku i think okay uh let's see Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> but I'm curious. Uh, I'm gonna link you guys to this. Uh, it's just like Lisa derping on the floor in the rain, and then there's like the fetus next to her, and then it's just like the weirdest <laughs> shit in the world. <laughs> it's really oh, funny. God. It's like this game isn't scary anymore, although she looks terrifying. Wait, what the fuck is this? Hey, Why? <laughs> it's just so derpy. 
Yeah, they like unlocked the model and they yeah, replaced it like with quiet funny. and they like put it in Metal Gear and it was really funny. <laughs> Someone replaced uh, Snake with uh, Norman Reedus. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So like you're just playing okay, Norman that Reedus. I and... definitely remember seeing. <laughs> I definitely remember seeing Norman Reedus mods. Yeah. Anyway, good job, uh, oh PT players. You guys are awesome. All right, let's move on to some other stuff. Uh, the Last of Us Part Two is uh, the trailer was released. I didn't watch that. Um, did any of you guys? No. Oh wait, no, I think I did. I'm not sure. I, I did. I did. Okay. Uh, Earl. Yeah, yeah. He's doing jaw. They do homework. All right, Earl. Neil. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Neil, tell us about The Last yes. of Us Two because I've never played The Last of Us, so I, I kind of don't know what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, spoilers. <laughs> what? Oh, geez, that's asking for spoilers at that point. I mean, I know what happens in the story, kind of, so... I, I mean, I felt oh, like I was I'll never going to play it. Suspense is so. ruined. <laughs> Suspenseful, let's just say that. It has really weird shooting mechanics. <laughs> oh, they're awful. The stealth's really good, though. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Apparently the stealth is really broken, too, because I saw some guy, like, really break it. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of is. It plays better than it actually works out. <laughs> I don't think that makes any sense. But people That's love correct. that game, man. Yeah, it is. It's one of the better games that was released for PS3. Cool. So, are you excited for Part 2? or? Not really. Here's the thing. I acknowledge that Last of Us is an amazing game. I don't care what happens next. It's like, just... I'll probably go through it, and I'll probably enjoy it. Uh, I'll, enjoy. I'll probably think it's a really good game, but... I honestly don't really care that much about what happens because I feel that the Last of Us concluded pretty well. Like, really, this is just go going on to see what they can do with the story for me. See, so, yeah, Naughty Dog is kind of like going down that usual formula. I feel like they're going to make three games, and they're going to make a part racer about the Last of Us, and then it ruined. And then Skin. yeah. But they're also doing uh, the Crash Bandicoot remaster too. So is that by Naughty Dog as well? I, I mean, yep. Crash Bandicoot. Is a, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's kind of good dog. that they're doing that. Um, it looks pretty like nice and cartoony. I'll, I'll give it that. So uh, Crash Bandicoot's a pretty good game. So series ish. The second one everybody loves. So yeah. Uh, what else did you guys see? I saw Marvel Fastest versus Capcom Inf Infinite. Uh, I mean, Last Guardian. Oh, uh, the Last Guardian. That uh, come, they came out recently, didn't it? No, it's coming out on nope. the six. Oh, okay. Oop, that's so really close. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Excited. You guys excited for that? Oh man, I don't have a PS4. I, I don't have a PS4 oh, either. I'm waiting either. for Persona, and then I'll get one. Yeah, same here. I'm Persona. Persona. Has a PS4. <laughs> Persona is definitely like it's the utmost importance right PS3 now. PS three and four, but might as well get a four. From yeah, this. Thing. Yeah, this. Yeah, I can't because Phantom Pain actually killed my PS three. Oh shit. So. <laughs> you don't. Um, I don't know if it was old age or if the game literally pushed the console to the brink. <laughs> you know, I, I'm kind of confused both. about the PS four though, because like I'm not sure which one to buy because the Pro came out and like I'm wondering if that's better. The Pro's but then... the price of the original one, but has way more storage. The regular one is a reduced price now and also looks different. Okay, Do you th are they going to come out with another version with like the updated graphics, or is that the Pro? Uh, I don't know that part. Okay, uh, I'm going to wait for that updated graphics part. I don't know. Maybe someone can leave a comment or something. I don't know. I play PS4 games on a nice TV. It still looks really good to me. Yeah. I, I just want to get the like newest one so I don't have to deal with all the like ridiculousness <laughs> of like, <laughs> oh, the, old, the new one has all these problems with the old one. Does, is, is, the old one is broken this way. And no. Oh. And then, yeah, that, that was my voice acting segment, by the way. Thanks for oh. watching. No, we just confirmed that Sahil is actually 68-year-old grandmother. You <laughs> darn kids and your PlayStation 4s. Grandma. That's like... Grandma. Oh. Hey, you, you kids and your brownies and your pots and your... Brownies and what? Your and pot? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> the, the two most 90s things. What the hell is going on, dude? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh... Oh my gosh! Oh, I, don't I don't even know where to go from that. Anyway, uh, Nino Kuni 2, they announced <laughs> that. Either. Everybody loves oh, really? that game. 
I feel like I need a PlayStation because <laughs> my PS2 broke, and now I need Aww. to go. I want to play Persona Four again. I'm gonna go get another PS2 soon after after finals are over. I'm just gonna go on like a Persona Four playing spree. I love my PS2. I know. I'm gonna I go get too, a new but one. I have a PS. I have a PS4, so I have to play those games. Hmm. PS4. I want one as well, but only when Persona 5 comes out, as we said. Yep. And then I'll go yeah, play Bloodborne. Yeah, but if you want to play a PS4 right now, I'm not... Eh? What'd you say? He cut off. <laughs> if, if you want to play with a PS4 right now, I'm not inviting you to my house, so... I don't keep give that in a mind. shit. I don't care. I don't care about you. Okay, well, I love you, babe. So brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, are there any God. other news topics to cover this week? I mean... Well, the biggest piece of news comes from the PSX thing in Anaheim, really. We've already discussed the Death Stranding in The Last of Us Part 2. Okay. So... Well, tell us, what's this PSX thing that you're talking about? I had uh, no idea it existed. The PlayStation it. convention that happened over the weekend. Well, that yeah. that's what I was talking about. Uh, did I not mention that? Sorry, that was like... Uh, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah that, that was part of that convention, yeah. right? Yep. Okay, what else is there? Um, let me look it up. We're doing it live, we'll look it up. We're doing it live! Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I'm scared, man. Uh, so yeah, while Neil looks that up, how's you guys' days going? Pretty good, right? Right? Dude, I helped like three people in Java today, and I got none of my work done. In drama? Java. 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 Oh, Java. You're a CIS major. <laughs> we all had to call you out on that. <laughs> it's okay. Programming in Java is a drama, because nobody knows what the heck they're doing. Because tip tap 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 tip 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 coding examples, yes. So uh you uh you ordered a mac macchino with that or No one? No. Oh. Oh okay. I don't get it. God, I don't get it either. Oh you guys, please. So what the hell's a macchino? Is there a coffee drink I'm not aware of or something? Like matcha, like green tea? <laughs> Neil Neil's on that shit. He's what is like... a macchino? <laughs> Neil's like, there's no coffee that I don't know. <laughs> really? You like a macchiato or... Are you a coffee expert? Yeah, like Neil's the coffee ex expert, dude. Didn't you know that? No. I'm not even joking. This isn't a joke or a segment. No. Like, this is like an actual <laughs> thing. Like Neil funny literally funny. knows everything about coffee and beer. Uh, uh. I'm putting him on a pedestal so he seems more important. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, he definitely knows more about coffee and beer than most people. Uh, Saying eh is not a response. You have to either say yes, I do, Mr. Hill. Thank you for mentioning that. Now, let me talk about how black coffee is much better with a little bit of milk in it. <laughs> well, if we're going to, like, Starbucks or something like that. We don't go to Starbucks because uh, Starbucks... Star Starbucks isn't sponsored by us, but if they do sponsor us, I will praise Starbucks. So Starbucks, please sponsor us. Oh boy. Oh Alright, Neil, did you find that news yet? Uh, yeah, we pretty much talked about uh, all the good stuff. Um, there is Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Ah, yeah, that features is... Chloe, oh, right? Spin -off. Yeah, this is Uncharted, but with the better character. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of nice. Like, that's kind of refreshing to see like an, uh, the game played through another character. Yeah. Yeah. I like Chloe from too. Um, she's pretty cool. Uh, damn. It's been a while since I played Uncharted. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else is there? Uh, I'm gonna look this oh, up. Those too. are really the big things, actually. Any like small things that are worth mentioning? Uh, sure. Horizon Zero Dawn looks very pretty. Oh, the one about the dinosaurs and shit? Yeah, the robot dinosaurs, the redhead girl from the bow and arrow who's totally not inspired by Merida. <laughs> if you had the chance to kill a dinosaur, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I seriously have no idea of some of the things you say, man. 
I don't either. I just kind of go with it, man. I mean, I'm all about it. I know. I know, man. It's okay. You'll get the help you need someday. Parappa the Rapper? Hold on one darn tootin' second. There's a Parappa the Rapper game coming out? Yep. Yeah. Holy shoot. Everybody loves Persona 5, yes. Oh, they released like a final patch for Re Resident Evil 7, right? You mean demo? Of the demo, I don't know. 9, 13, 8. I don't know, dude. Yeah, Resident Evil 7. It doesn't look very much like Resident Evil, but it's got atmosphere going for it, I guess. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be a terrible game. <laughs> oh, no, no. Resident Evil 4 looked nothing like the previous Resident Evils, and it's the best one. Look, I just watched Game Grumps play uh, Resident Evil 1, and I was like, yeah, Resident Evil 1 is a great game. <laughs> so I'm, I, until they make another Resident Evil 1 or a remake of 2, uh, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> Oh, you're going to be disappointed, then. Or they just make it as campy as 4 was, and I'll be happy. Or as ridiculous as 5. No, 4 was much more ridiculous. That's true. I mean, the farthest that 5 goes to ridiculousness is when Chris Redfield's in the volcano trying to push a boulder, but since it doesn't budge, he starts to punch it, and then it moves. <laughs> You don't remember that part? It's the best part of that game. I love that part. That sounds amazing. If you've never played... you got to play Resident Evil 4. No, I have not. you got to play Resident Evil 4 and 5. They're so they're so silly. 4 is, like, the best one. Like, if you're looking for a scary game, play 1. If you're looking for a ridiculously stupid experience, look for 4, because it'll be scary, but it'll also be hilarious. Um, if you so looking, you won't be as scared. Well, 4 has, like, one of the scariest moments in the Resident Evil game ever. Like, I'm not even joking. 4 has atmosphere down, but it also knows when to just say, fuck it. Let's yeah. Have it's so weird, because, like, it comes after, like, the weirdest part ever of just, like, like Rambo-ness. It, it just, like, gets all quiet, and it, it just has, like, a Yeah, crazy... there's this one room in Resident Evil 4 that is so out of place with everything else in the game. And it's just really terrifying and creepy and i had to like put the controller down and call my friend over to play it with me so because i was that Aww. scared um it was it's uh, so weird where it comes after two i know and then five is just like a power fantasy <laughs> i don't know five cool. is just it's like oh we, we'll do resident evil 4 again sure <laughs> just with a smaller inventory that doesn't make any sense <laughs> and two people pull, this time to paraphrase Yahtzee quote, Kusha, <laughs> you're wearing your armor in the pocket of your armor. <laughs> I'm serious, that's what happens. If you get the armor, you have to put it in the inventory. It's not something you wear. I know, uh, I know. Still a good game, though. Uh, not bad. Anyway. I remember how much besides the boulder punch. Yeah. Punching boulders, man. What's a... Uh... Alright, well, we're coming at the end of the show. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about? Any uh, closing thoughts about... Death Stranding! What? Uh, which one of you guys is taking Geology uh, 101? Oh my god. <laughs> nope. Uh, none of us. <laughs> I actually need help with I have with a friend who's going into Geology if you can wait a few years. Oh my god, what am I... What is my life? <laughs> That's not going to help me! Yeah, I Oh my I, god, I some of these questions that. are actually hard. <laughs> All right, like well, it. uh, thanks That's for watching the podcast, guys. Uh, That's branding. Okay, uh, Twee, you got any closing thoughts? Yes. I'm going to Boston in two days. Oh, cool. What are you doing? Uh, going to see the Big Dota tournament. Oh, yeah. Oh, I actually, there's one quick thing we can talk about. Um, I start, I watched, uh, the CSGO, like, there was a big tournament over the weekend. Like, that was ah, sponsoring. yes. Yeah. Yeah, I watched a little bit of that. It was pretty exciting. It's so like interesting to see it on TV, like like cable television. It really is. Like it it, it yeah. was kind of like this like weird moment I had with myself. I was just like, wow. It's like my like hobby has like turned mainstream, like and it's being <laughs> sponsored by Buffalo Wild Wings and Arby's. Yeah. I saw that. That's it was so nice. weird. Yeah, they they made specific esports. Uh, 
they even like went out of their way to defend esports. They were like, esports is a sport, and I'm just like, all right, Buffalo Wild Wild Wings, I I understand, all right. <laughs> I think those places sponsoring are good because they're sports bar, right? They they always have TV to show all their games and stuff. Yeah, so it's like another way for gamers love starting. that. They do love food. They love um beer and easy food. <laughs> easy food, yeah, because they're too busy uh, playing video games. Yeah. Now I can go to Buffalo oh, Wild Wings and would be the up. right food though, because then you'd have to get all the sauce in your fingers, and you gotta get the napkins out. You gotta be away from the keyboard for a little bit. And... Real you have gamers to don't know how to eat that. it. Yeah, you just put it in your mouth and try to like get it off the bones and then spit it out. Mm-hmm. I knew someone who did that. <laughs> <laughs> what? The that heck? sounds really hard though. That sounds That's unhygienic. Like, just, just some practice. How's that unhygienic? You never touched it. <laughs> You just use oh your head. God. Sounds really hard, though. <laughs> what about if you start choking on it? Oh, then too bad, GG. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good note to end this podcast. If you're choking on chicken, GG. Learn to Heimlich maneuver yourself. <laughs> Self Heimlich maneuver yourself. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, but it, it is a it's a really nice thing to see. It, it was so cool because, like, my parents were really into it, too, even though, like, they were oh. just, yeah. Like, I, I, my dad seemed like, he, he usually, like, he's like, ah, change the channel. But, like, he was watching it yeah. a little bit, so. Um, it's, CSGO is pretty fun to watch for everybody. It's interesting. Like, the, the, the uh, I like how it's, like, 50% the game, 50% the player. Yep. Um Which, I, I know, like, some people would argue, like, maybe it should be more about the game, but I actually kind of like it the way it is right now. Cause, um, Uh-oh. Nah? I believe it's part of the players, too. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Like, uh, that's what I feel, too, because, like, uh, I, I feel like the, like... Also, like, because it's so new, I feel like you have to show these guys, because, like, you have to, like, kind of, like, sell them as well, because, like, the players are the most important thing, I feel, when it comes to esports. Well, it's more like the community, and uh, sometimes they look up to these players. Maybe they shouldn't, but... Yeah, pretty much these players need to... They become inspirational role models, basically. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. I agree with that. Um, to them. It's also, the like, kids. it's also really nice um, seeing them, like, have, like, kind of professional interviews, too. And, uh... Yeah. It, like, like there's, like, a serious, like, uh, interviewer. Like, oh, like, how are you going to feel about this, like, specific aspect of, like, what you're going to do today or whatever. And they're like, I want right, to well, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, I can imagine you doing that. No, it'll take time, but I'll get there. Yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm really, I'm really happy about all this esports stuff. Um, I definitely, I hope they start streaming like other games and stuff. Like if they start streaming, uh, like StarCraft or something, or I mean, like putting StarCraft on cable television or something, I would watch that all the time. But uh, yeah, um, esports, man, uh, we could. Get into an, a whole another hour about that, I'm sure. But uh, we're coming. <laughs> yeah, we coming at the end of our show. Uh, everyone, thanks for coming. Like seriously, uh, I was glad to have like a little four way today. <laughs> thanks for having Oh uh, my god, <laughs> I am not coming back. <laughs> you, you know what, Earl? You're like the most likely to come back. Even Neil would like jump on this like as fast as you would. I am definitely not coming back, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, let me thank every each and all one of you. Neil, you're. I always force you to be with me. Thank you. Twee, thanks for making the time to come out here. Uh, Earl. My pleasure. Oh God, Earl. <laughs> thanks for coming on, man. I love you. Okay. Yeah, that's side, dude. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe. Please like the video if you liked it. Comment whatever you want. Uh, Seriously, thanks for watching. Uh, We're signing out. (laughs) Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. See you later.